Well, welcome back to Balacor Fitness Show here on your hometown station, AM 1220, KTTS. I'm Ellen Como, and we are talking about Parlay Fit, which is menopause. It's a, it's actually Parlay Fit is a program that I'm putting together for women going through all the phases of menopause. We talked about the three phases of menopause in the first segment, and that was perimenopause, menopause, and postmenopause. Those three. So, and, but right before we went to break, and I just got to say, I love saying things out loud because I'm on the air and you can't see me, but we're, we're podcasting right now. And it's my first time really sitting here with the camera. And I'm, as <laughs> I'm asking, is it okay to look at the camera? So if you see this podcast and I'm looking around, then every now and then I look back, it's my first time. So hi, it's my first time here doing this with the camera and playing with it. Um, it's crazy when you're doing something live, the things that go on like behind the scenes. And uh, you know, so I like to kind of bring you into the studio and what we're doing and let you know what's going on behind the scenes sometimes because uh, it gives you the you know, it just gives you an awareness. You know, we, we all try to be so perfect with what we're doing all the time. And, and that's not necessarily ever the case. Hopefully we can be just authentic and really give you great information and be entertaining while we're doing it. So that's, you know, if we can do that, if I can do all that, that would be good. I'd be happy. So I was talking before we went to break about cardio, making sure you have cardio because um, for your heart, your heart health, for stress, for anxiety, because you need those things. And then now we're moving on to resistance training. Resistance training is my favorite. That's my baby. I've been doing that for, I've loved that from the moment that I walked into the gym and picked up a weight in my hand. I never looked back. I loved resistance training. What that has done is really allowed my bones to be very, become very strong, my muscles to become very strong. And I, it's really helped kind of fight the levels of hormones as I'm going into menopause. So I love that. Now, resistance training is obviously to keep your bones, your keep your muscles strong, but also your bones strong as well. So make sure that you're doing some sort of resistance training. Now, another thing that is really, really good for you, it would be yoga. Now, I'm not a yoga person. I've tried taking yoga twice. Once I fell asleep, and the next time I wanted to stand up and start running around the room yelling because it was just like I couldn't, I couldn't settle into it. But I have to say, if that's something that will work for you, then do it because it's a great, it's a great, it'll really work on your anxiety. Let's say you're really struggling with anxiety and you're really having a hard time keeping up with the classes and cardio is something that just isn't working for you. Maybe try hiking and yoga. That's th Those are two things. And, and those are not even two things that I even teach at my studio, but that's not what this is about today. This is what is about. This is about what's good for you going through menopause. So um, those are two things that I would definitely try because being outside is beautiful. It'll kind of release some of the anxiety, some of the stress that you're going through, and yoga does the same thing. Also, meditation or prayer are a must uh, right now while you're going through this time because you're really going to find out a lot about yourself. And they're also journaling. Journaling is really, really good. Is a very, very helpful because you can look back on two and three weeks in a month and see how far you've come and see what you're doing and where you're going because I've talked about all the, kind of all of the symptoms, the negative symptoms of menopause. And now I'm going to put that list and just push it away. And now we're going to talk about positive stuff about going through menopause. Um, when you're going through menopause, you become, you, as a woman, you finally realize what your gift is, what you're here for. Up until this age, what you've been doing is taking care of everyone else in your life. And now it's time for you to go out and for you to share your gift with the world. It's your time. You maybe always wanted to take up painting or you wanted to take calligraphy or you wanted to be a writer or you wanted to be a volunteer and you could never do those things because you're raising a family, you were working, maybe you had a job and you're raising a family. Maybe you're a single mom working and raising a family. You didn't have a lot of time for those things, those interests that you've always desired to do and to learn more about and to be part of. Now is this time for you that you get to do this. It's a time where we actually become more creative than we ever have been because our brain isn't just focused on raising our family and what we can do for everyone else. It gives us that small amount of selfishness to be able to use our brain for creativity. So that is a really big plus and it's a beautiful time for us. It's almost like we know who we are better than we ever have. Things that we might have 
let go or kind of move past us, we kind of take notice of now. It doesn't mean that we have to fight everything. I'm not saying that <laughs> and become like this major warrior or become a tyrant. Um, but we can kind of just say, well, no, you know what? I'm not okay with that. We're learning how to we're learning how to use the word no in a healthy way. So we have all these great things going on. And also, the beautiful part is we to become comfortable in that role of pathfinder, a mentor to the woman coming up behind us, where we can give advice and healthy advice, um, you know, and kind of let them see, you know, kind of share both sides of something. When you walk through something, no matter what it is, when you walk through it one way, if you, if you never ever stop and look back and kind of at least, um, at least explore the other way, it's really hard for you to ever move forward into where you're going next. Uh, meaning, like, let's say you left a job, and you left a job for another job. You know, it, it's really healthy to be able to explore, gosh, if I would have stayed, that doesn't mean live in that area. I don't mean live there and beat yourself up and think, oh, it would have been better if I did. I'm just saying explore, gosh, if I would have stayed, A, B, and C would have happened. But now that I went on to this new job, you know, all these new things happen. And what that does is it gives you experience. That's life experience that you get to share with others. So they come to you and say, you know, I'm kind of thinking of taking this new job. And you say, well, you know, I remember when I went through that. And this is what happened when I took it. All these things happened. And I thought about if I didn't take it, maybe the A, B, and C would have happened. So here's two ways to look at that. So as a woman going through menopause, we can... You know, we can be those pathfinders and we can be those mentors to younger women going through different things with relationships, with our children, with our work, with our creativity, with where we're going. Another thing that I want to tell women going through this time of your life, don't give up. Don't kind of just say that's it. I'm, I mean, I hear it every day and I, it just makes me so sad. It's like, yeah, I'm just old. It doesn't really matter anyway. And no, you're not. You're not old. You have many, many years left on this earth. You are nowhere near old and you have so much to contribute to this society that don't ever say that about yourself. Don't ever diminish who you are. Don't ever diminish your value. You are so valued. You're probably more valuable now than you've ever been with the experiences that you've been through, with the heartaches that you've been through, with the, con with the things that you've conquered, you are so valuable and you are so beautiful. Please don't ever think that you're not beautiful. Uh, this society has such a, a false understanding in some ways of what beauty is, but I don't think it's society as much as what we tell ourselves about what people are thinking and seeing about us. So never ever, when you look in the mirror, I want you to see how beautiful you are. Because beauty obviously radiates, like I've, I say this all the time, beauty is on the inside and it radiates outside. What's going on on the outside is just an ornament. That's it. It's an ornament. We can change it any way we want to change it, especially now with everything available to us. We can make ourselves look any way we want to look. Beauty truly starts on the inside. So don't forget that and don't forget how beautiful you are every single day and you are strong not only are you strong in your body but you're strong in your mind you're strong in your value system you're strong in every way possible ways that you've never had before you have an inner strength that has come with experience so enjoy this strength and use it in order to conquer something that you've never conquered before you now have the tools to do that and don't think you're not feminine and not sexy anymore. I hear this all the time from women going through menopause. I just don't even feel like I'm a woman anymore. And I just don't feel sexy anymore. Sexy is a state of mind. It's a decision that you make to continue to be sexy, to continue to have that state of mind. And, you know, I know this is a very sensitive subject, but... Intimacy does change for us going through menopause. It really, truly changes. But I have to tell you, that's another mindset that we are going to have to fight through. It, you know, there, there might be a little, it might be some painful in the intimacy department. There might be a little bit of dryness in the intimacy department. You can do things about that. But don't make that where now you're not, a, you know, you don't have that part of your life because it's an important part of your life. And they say, you know, use it or lose it. It's very important in the intimacy department, I have to say, and I'll leave that subject right there. I think that's the last thing I have to say about that. But so you are, you're beautiful, you're strong, and you are sexy, and you can continue to be that way. And don't take, I mean, don't ever look at yourself as anything but those things. Um, it's, you know, and, and also, 
you're going to need to be a really good communicator to your partner, to the man in your life, because he doesn't understand why you're going through these things you're going through. And if you don't tell him, he's going to think it has something to do with him. He's not doing something right. And for the man there, you know, I, the most important thing to a man is that they're not letting us down. They hate to think that they're letting us down in any way at all. So if all of a sudden we're, we're having anxiety attacks and we're not talking to him, but we're pulling way back into ourselves, he's going to think it's because he's doing not doing something good and well enough for us. And then he, it's you know, he's going to start to beat himself up when he does that. Now he starts to draw back, and now you have two people drawing back from each other when they should be coming closer than they've ever come. Because what's happening with the woman, woman when she's going through menopause is she's becoming more independent, finding out who she is, and becoming more creative. Where the man, actually, he's going through something called andropause, and he becomes more of a homebody, more of the nurturer. The roles reverse, and that's such a natural thing that's happening. And if you have a couple that's going to talk about this and is going to be open about this and share this with each other, they're only going to get closer and support each other more. So women, you need to be able to have a great communication with your either, if he's your partner, your husband, your boyfriend, you need to be able to talk to him about this stuff. Don't think that, oh gosh, if he knows I'm having hot flashes, I'm not going to be as attractive to him. Yes, you are. <laughs> you really are. There's, it's not going to change the way he loves you. What he is going to say is, thank you for letting me into your world. You know, let's say you are, you, and then the mood swings. Gosh, you know, um, we all go through mood swings when we're going through menopause. We go through mood swings when we're, we're having PMS. We go through mood swings when we're pregnant. So we, we've been going through mood swings almost our whole entire lives. It's not something that's new to us. At this moment, though, they're kind of different because we're looking at things a little bit differently than we've ever looked at them before. So as we're having these mood swings and we're having these what I call moments, because they do, they do really genuinely last just a moment, um, you know, just buck up and apologize. Just say, you know what? I'm so sorry. I was having a moment. Don't justify it. <laughs> There's no justification other than you were having a moment because your hormones are all whacked out. And, you know, I said to my boyfriend last week, I was just having this moment. I said, gosh, how would you like to be living in my brain right now? And he said, oh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, no, it's, and it's true. Uh, and it, our brains are all over the place. We're scattered. And there's times where we're like completely scattered and we can't even figure out like where we left our key. And then the next moment, we're so hyper focused that we're, you know, we're exploring the meaning of life. And and you know, you're here, you're there, you're everywhere. And that's all such a beautiful part of this moment in our lives because we're exploring everything. So, and then when it comes to your your skin, it's just a great lotion. Find, I use a lotion with a lot of shea, you know, shea butter. It's been, it really works for me. It makes my skin really, really soft. And try some different things. Uh, I would stay as natural as possible. You don't want stuff with a lot of chemicals in it just because uh, it's not good for your, you know, anything you put on your, your body as a cell and it absorbs everything. Uh, and you know, we've talked about all the other stuff, osteoporosis, resistance training, resistance training, resistance training. Uh, and, you know, so, um, you know, sleep, oh, gosh, that's a, that's a tough one. Now, what I really, I, um, there's two things that they t talk about. There is black cohosh and I, a cohosh and I know I'm like just blanking out I'm having a total menopause moment right here on air so aren't you happy right now if I'm living through it but I maca root is one thing that I'm using and that's a natural thing so you can you can there's a couple places out here in this valley that you can go and Valencia Wellness Center is one of them where you go and talk to the women there and tell them of some of your symptoms and they can give you some natural things to take to help you with these symptoms so that's another thing you can do you can talk to your doctor if that's where you're comfortable going in, the, in that direction. And they can work with you and let them know what your symptoms are so they can help you out with that. And so there's all, you know, there's different things that we can do to help us with the symptoms that we're going through. So black cohosh is one and maca root is the other one. So we have those two things that you can use that are going to help. Now, the maca root, I really love. I love them for hot flashes. I use that's what I use it for. I take a powdered form and I put it in my water every morning and I drink it. And it really helps. And that's also good for a woman's libido as well. So, And the black cohosh is also good for um, hot flashes and for some of the other things that you struggle with in, while you're going through menopause. But let's make this a time in our lives 
like every other time. We know when, up till we were 13 years old or 12 or nine, whenever you started your menstrual cycle, you know, we were a little girl and then all of a sudden we got, you know, our cycle and then we changed. We became a young lady. Then as a young lady, we have children and we start growing into a woman and now we are not able to have children anymore, but it's just taking us to a different phase of our life. And what I, it's just a really sad thing when I see that women get to this phase of their life, they kind of give up. Now more women than ever are now starting to talk about menopause pause openly. It's not becoming the M word anymore that nobody speaks about and everybody doesn't want to talk about. The symptoms are things that we're sharing with each other. And by sharing it, it's giving us a power to be able to take this stuff and to take these symptoms and to understand you're not alone. It's like you look at someone else, I'm in the middle of a hot flash and someone will, and I'll go, gosh, I'm like having a hot flash. And someone next to me will go, oh my gosh, you have those too? Uh, yeah, I do. And you, you're able to talk about it. The more you talk about things and you share things and you kind of come together as a community and you bounce off of each other what's working and not working, it really gives you power. And then when you have the girls coming up behind you, you know, I love that our, the generation behind us that are coming into menopause, we didn't even have, we didn't have a lot of menopause pioneers uh, before we started going into menopause, but now there's a lot of us that are taking it on and I love that. So we're going to be able to be pioneers for the young people coming up behind us. And for that, I actually think is such a helpful thing. Um, we can be the pioneers and we can help the woman coming underneath us. We can give them what we experienced. We can give them solutions to issues and problems that are going on. We can give them solutions to their symptoms. So we have, we're going to have the experience for you. So if you're in your 20s and 30s, by the time you get our age, we're going to have this down for you because we are going to go through this and we're going to share all our information. Now, if you want to be part of the Parlay Fit, it's starting over at Balacore Fitness Studio. Studio. I don't charge for it. <laughs> you know, it's something that I'm doing out of a passion for it. And we're meeting tomorrow actually at Balacore Fitness Studio at about 9.45. And what we're going to do is talk about all the different things that come along with menopause. So we're, we're going to be talking about that. Or you can go on my Facebook page. And then very, very, I'm going to be filming videos very shortly. I've been saying that for two years, but they're really actually, actually it's only been one year. But it's really, really starting now because I've done my research and I'm ready to go. I'm going to give you ways you can work out both in your home and in a fitness studio. So you can, if you're at a gym, you can take your workout into the gym. And if you're at home, you can do it at home. A lot of us sometimes, a lot, a lot of women at this point in their life when they're going through menopause and they've never worked out before, aren't really comfortable going into uh, you know, a gym, especially uh, when there's men and women in there, they feel a lot safer when it's just women. That's good. Know where your comfort levels are and stay there in that comfort level till you're ready to break out and you'll know when that is. And if you need to start in your home, that's why I'm putting these videos out. I'm also putting these videos out because I'm getting requests from women all over the country right now about different workouts and what they can do for their menopause symptoms and as far as the weight gain and the nutrition part of it. So that's something that I'm going to have to get on video as soon as possible to start sharing. I didn't expect there to be so much interest so soon, but it's starting and I'm excited about it. And I'm so excited to be a spokesperson for all the women that are going through it. Um, know that I am going to be, I'm not going to just be running out there with just a bunch of information, but getting everything checked with, you know, natural doctor, with a medical doctor. And so I, whatever I'm sharing with you is stuff that I have checked out and I'm trying myself. So for w all the women out there that are struggling through all the, don't even struggle, we're, we're pushing through all the phases of menopause. I just want to say, I'm here with you. Let's do this together. I want you to know that you're beautiful, you're strong, you're sexy. Look at Parlay Fit, P A R L A Y Fit on Facebook. And if you need to, you can um, go ahead and leave me a message on there and I'll answer you. This is the end of my hour. I'll be back in two weeks and we'll be talking about more about keeping your body healthy and fit. This is Ellen Como on Balacor Fitness Studio on your hometown station, AIM 1220 KHTS. Bye bye, everyone. Well, you are still listening to Balacor Fitness Show here on your hometown station, AIM 1220. I'm still getting used to the podcast thing. Um, so I'm back. Ellen Como, I'm still here. Well, we were talking, I guess I have a few more minutes to talk to you, which is great because now I can really have the time to give you the information if you're interested. Uh, this is Parlay Fit. 
it's something that I'm, it's a whole community and fitness that I'm going to be starting that I have been working on, that I'm diligently working on for women going through all the phases of menopause. The three phases of menopause are perimenopause, then menopause, and postmenopause. So all three of those areas are all three different times in our lives. They can be anywhere from six months to 12 years that we're going through this. It's a long time. And what I want to do and what I want to be able to be is a spokesperson and to bring information to you so you can go through this as well as you possibly can and know that this is a time of great creativity for you. I want you to go through this time feeling beautiful. I want you to feel strong. I want you to feel sexy. I don't want you to be sitting here just thinking about the symptoms. Yes, you're going to have hot flashes. You know what? Your skin looks beautiful. You're glowing. Why are you glowing? You're having a hot flash. So like, welcome your hot flash. It's something positive. And if you take all these things that could be negative and make them positive, you're going to get through this in no time at all. Remember, you're now being lifted up to becoming a pathfinder, a mentor, if you will. What you're, that our job, what our job is at this point is for other women coming up behind us so we can share our experiences. The great choices we've made, the choices we made, Maybe we wish we would have made differently. It's our time. This is it. This is a time for us to really be able to grab onto who we are and become the woman we're meant to be and who all of these experiences and all these decisions and everything that we have made, we're here now. We, 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 we did all this to become where, where we are now. So it's a great, great time in our life. So important to keep up with your fitness program. So and if you're not on a fitness program, you have to get on one. You need daily exercise. You need to change your nutrition to healthy nutrition. And I didn't touch on that as much as I really, really wanted to, which we can do. And I'll be back in two weeks. So I'll be able to do that then. But your nutrition is going to have to change quite a bit if it hasn't already. You're wanting to eat more healthy. But it's something, it's kind of funny, going through this, you almost crave healthier food, although we're still having our sugar cravings, and we can get sugar in a very healthy way. Now, um, this is the only time in our lives, too, and I'm just talking about women in the phases of menopause. I want to be very, very clear. What we eat after 3 p.m. is what our body is going to look like. And that isn't anybody else going through. Any, I'm not saying this to men. I'm not saying this to women that aren't in menopause. This is for menopause women only. So I want to be very, very clear because I don't want anybody uh, misunderstanding that. Uh, by 3 p.m., you should have almost all of your calories should be consumed. So you want to stick to foods that are that are anti-inflammatory too. That's very, very important. So Parlay Fit, you can look me up on Facebook, P-A-R-L-A-Y-F-I-T and like on Facebook. You can private message me there at Balacor Fitness Studio. We're going to be meeting every other week. We're going to be meeting one week, Thursday at 9.45 and Friday at 9.45. So we have different times that we're going to be meeting, talking about it. Whatever we talk about in there is going to stay in there. It's going to be a, kind of like a, an informative and support group for women going through menopause. And the videos are going to be starting to, uh, we're going to be starting those very, very, very soon. And I hope in two weeks, I'm going to tell you that I have one in the can and ready to kind of share some with you on the website at KHTS. So Parlay Fit, if you want to email me, it's Ellen como fitness at gmail.com well i guess i'm really really getting off the air this time for two weeks but i want to thank everybody for listening and tell you all women remember you are beautiful you are strong you are sexy remember that okay don't forget that you're listening to balacore fitness show here on your hometown station am 1220 kgts go out have a great day Sad.